Unlike my mother who promised me I would become the most handsome looking young man on planet earth, I'm not a liar. I came back around as I promised in the previous video. I was going to cover the three other Spider-Man centric figures that were announced at the 1027 Hasbro event. If you guys are interested to hear what I have to say about the three first figures, which were the Last Stand Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider, and the Jack-O-Lantern action figure. You guys can always check out our previous video where we kind of went through the first three figures. And like I said, kind of just give you guys my overall perspective on whether the figures were worth picking up. And then all of the accessories and features that each figure came with. But today we're going to be talking about, as I said, the other three that I didn't get into too much detail. The first one has to be Hollow's Eve, which is one of the newer Marvel characters. Uh, it's always a breath of fresh air when Hasbro decides to release a figure that had its first comic book debut only about a year ago. And it's exciting to continue to see Hasbro give us the new technology, the new body molds. We are getting the new female body mold which comes with all of the fantastic articulation, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, no disgusting pins. The only real nitpick that I've had about this body has to be the supposed ab crunch, or I could almost call it a chest crunch. It's an ab crunch or it's a it's a point of articulation in the mid torso, but it's really, really high. I'm not a huge fan of that particular articulation on a female body mold. I think they could have just done an ab crunch similar to what they do with the male body molds. It does come with the two masks as well as the six cents total. So again, they're giving us quite a few accessories with each and every single figure that was released in this entire wave. So it seems like Hasbro is actually listening to the community and putting forth the effort, which is definitely not something that we're used to from Hasbro. The second figure is definitely the one that I am the most excited about in today's video, and that has to be Tombstone. He will come with an alternate head sculpt, two extra hands, so four total, and then an extra accessory, which is the crowbar. Definitely a much more classic design very much like the earth 616 tombstone i love the paint job i love the suit on him same thing pinless articulation here double jointed elbows knees it is definitely going to look fantastic next to your hammerhead if you already picked up the retro carded hammerhead that came out a couple of years ago and same thing with this particular figure it's going to come in a retro carded packaging no extra build a figure pieces to have to deal with which as i've said many times before it's opening up the opportunity for extra accessories this may be what the future holds for hasbro they may just do away with the build a figure pieces and then maybe look to uh, include extra accessories and then maybe re-release those or just release the potential build a figure figures in just kind of a deluxe packaging or in a deluxe setting with that deluxe price point if it means extra hands extra head sculpts maybe some extra webbing accessories for some of the spider-man action figures i am all for it i definitely feel like the build a figure waves have at this point definitely reached their full potential they've outlived their usefulness let me know your opinion down in the comment section let me know would you prefer more accessories with the sacrifice of not receiving a, an actual build a figure figure or do you feel like it's not really much of a trade-off do, are you okay with the amount of accessories that we get at this moment as long as we receive the build a figure figure like i said let me know down below in the comment section very interested to see what you guys have to say about that now the final figure in this trio of releases and you guys can probably guess why i decided to leave this figure for the end and that's because i have literally no connection to this figure i'm not even too familiar with his comic book appearance but this is supposed to be spider shot which comes with six hands total as well as two blast effects now don't get too excited even though this is using some of the newer stuff penless technology that beautiful double lap crunch that i love butterfly joints the whole load of articulation this does not come with the, the extra toe articulation which is always great for some dynamic poses featuring spider-man it just seems that hasbro is always taking two steps forward one step back it's one of the body molds that's kind of like stuck somewhere in the middle it does use some of the newer technology but not all of it this is supposed to be based on one of the what if 
comic books, which is basically kind of a, an offshoot of Marvel stories where certain characters take on different characteristics or have slightly different storylines than their original 616 counterparts. He does have like a fake gun shooting gesture for one of his alternate hands, which I think is really funny and actually a, a pretty cool idea for shooting web. You could basically pretend like you're shooting a gun with your hands, but actually shoot webs out of it. Guys, it's not just about being a superhero, but it's also about being a badass superhero. And honestly, how smooth would you look doing that? I'm not a huge fan of this particular action figure. As I said, it does come with a lot of the new cool body mold. Uh, technology but i'm just not a fan of the colors it reminds me a lot of like the superior spider-man without all of the cool backstory very similar color scheme regardless it is very exciting for hasbro to continue giving us more spider-man action figures or spider-man related action figures i have to say in my personal opinion the two figures that i'm the most excited about definitely has to be that new tombstone action figure and then that scarlet spider which as i mentioned prior it comes with all of the newer articulation points uh, including the tour articulation the double lab crunch pinless technology all of the cool awesome features that we've come to expect from hasbro so as i mentioned it's really exciting to see what the future holds for hasbro but that's just my personal take my personal opinion i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say in terms of you know the newer figures this this new wave i think there's a lot to talk about there's a lot to dissect there i might come around in a later video and continue talking about this but for now i think i've basically babbled enough i've rambled on long enough so as always if you guys enjoy the video you guys can always hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff i really appreciate you guys tuning in it always helps the channel thank you guys and i will see you in the next one thank you